Hey guys, welcome back to another Pokemon Madness video. And today is exciting. Not only am I opening one, but I am opening two. Shining, my apologies, Hidden Fate Tins. I have no idea how I got my hands on these guys. It was just pure luck. I stumbled into a shop <laughs> and they had them and I was just gobsmacked like I could not believe my eyes unfortunately they only had two left oh my god come on right there we go so they did only have two left, which I did manage to pick up, and luckily, one of them is the infamous Charizard GX. Oh, there we go. Aha. And as you can see that they are the, repr the newly reprinted tins, because they do have your hexagon pattern there, and they are cardboard holding the card in place so I'm not too impressed with that I guess because it does risk damaging the card quite a lot as you can see the back when it inserted on the promo card it is so what I'll do is I'll leave that there because I do have to somehow get that out without damaging it Four standard packs and more cardboard. So look, I commend them for going away from from plastic into cardboard. That's kudos. It's really good. Oh. But when you have potential cards like this that are that can be worth a little bit of money. You don't want to see them get damaged or scratched um, without any protection. It is very easy for them to. I will put that over there. It has been quite a long time since I have opened up Hidden Fates. Does that Charizard look a little different or is that the exact same one? I'm, I'm not exactly sure. But... Nevertheless, here we are. Hidden Fates. I do believe these are going for something like 10 or 12 Australian dollars per pack, which is pretty crazy. I believe the first print of these cards is worth more. And I I do I am lucky enough to have some first prints sets locked away I have a whole heap of pin collections along with I believe it's three is it four let's go with four with some of the premium collections so I am I'm quite excited to have them in my collection Jinx Magma Farfetch, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing, Voltorb, Cubone. Our reverse is a Magikarp and a Snorlax regular rare. That over there. Okie dokie. Next. The Shining Mewtwo, and the Shining Mewtwo is worth quite a lot of money. I was very lucky to pull myself one, and I did get it graded, and I was lucky enough that it came back a PSA 10, which I was really stoked about. So let's think of grass. Ah, psychic. Okay, Giovanni's Exiled, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Koga's Trap, three supporters, that's interesting. P 
Paris, Ekans, Psyduck, hey nice, a Inke Shining card, which is the Shining subset, number 17 out of 94, that's a very nice pull, and a Kangaskhan regular rare, but that is a very nice pull, unfortunately it is quite off centre, I don't think it would get the OC qualification as there is no print dot in the corner here. But that would definitely deduct from the grade if I chose. But the card itself looks in really good condition. Awesome. So that's not too bad at all. Chuck that over there in the card that everyone wants in this set the SV69 69, 69 Shining Charizard I am still on the hunt for one of them I don't particularly want to buy one if I can help it as they are worth quite a lot of money which I have to admit I don't understand why as there is a ex, 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 there is an exorbitant amount in the population Charmeleon, Metapod, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, Charmander Let's go Oh ho ho How's about that? A Scizor GX. That's awesome. And the card behind is a Mr. Mime. But look at that, you guys. That's awesome. So, it is quite off-center as well. The top is very thin along with the sides. So I believe that will prevent it from getting a 10 as well. But the condition is very good. I believe that will prevent it from getting a 10. But the condition is very good. And the centering on the back is good as well. Well, there we go. Okay. The infamous birds. So, unfortunately, I didn't get my hands on a, a Hidden Face Elite Trainer box. And it is a little bit too late for me to do so because they are expensive as hell. With the birds being the primo in the card. Graveler. Farfetch. Brock's Gym. Geodude. Pikachu. Clefairy. Cubone. Jigglypuff. Hey nice. Clefable is our reverse. It's a very nice. Hey look at that. And a Zapdos. That is fantastic. So, I did manage to find out that my PSA grading, my last submissions from last year, is finally in the grading stage. So, they are, PSA is catching up, which is very good. I'm a little disappointed that that the submissions for regular bulk is still is still suspended, but I do understand why they did that and respect them for doing it. I do hope that once they clear the backlog, it all goes back to normal. Because a turnaround time of a couple of months is a lot better than what a, what feels like a couple of years. Clefairy, 
Slowpoke is our reverse. Nice. Misty's Water Command. That's very nice. I really like the star me how it's full holographic in the background there. It's a very nice card. It's number 68, 63 out of 68. Centering does look very nice on it. On the back as well. That's a very nice card. So we've we've got pretty good odds in this pack so far. We are down to our last three packs. So, one shiny and one GX out of the first tin. Let us hope that the second tin gives us better luck. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Rip Fairy Energy, <laughs> Giovanni's Exile, S Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Pikachu, Ekans, Coughing, Paris, Cubone. Oh wow, that's awesome! A Denise Shining card out of the Shining subset, number 36 out of 94. That like a little smudge, like an ink smudge up the top. You see that, guys? And the card behind is a Kangaskhan, regular rare. Oh. It's a bit dodgy for a sleeve. Let's flip that around, shall we? Nice. Take a look at that. That's a very nice card. Okay. Our lucky two last two packs. We will keep Charizard for last in hopes that it brings me the infamous Charizard I am looking for. Can the birds shine? Some of their legendary magic this way. With a little bit of grass. Ah. I was gonna say fire, but I'm like, no, I won't do that. It'll be grass. Charmeleon, Metapod, Clefairy, Cubone, Jigglypuff, Eevee, Caterpie. Haha, <laughs> Zapdos out of a Zapdos pack. Look at that. That is our reverse. And an Arbok regular rare. Hmm. In very good condition. Very nice. How lucky last pack. With only one shining full art in the two tins, let us hope that Charizard comes through and blesses me with a full art. Lucky last code card. So I hope that everyone, get, whoever manages to get them, gets something really spicy out of those packs. Cards, sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. Koga's Trap. Brock's Pewter City Gym. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. Voltorb. Coughing. Cubone. Geodude. And Jigglypuff. No! Gravelo, which is our reverse. And our lucky last card. Hey, nice. I will take that. A Jesse and James full art. Wow, that's really, really nice. 68 out of 68. 
<clears throat> unfortunately it does look like it has some blemishes on the top of the card in the silver textured blemishes as it was printing but centering does look very nice on this card which is good in the back back looks really crisp as well no whiting no edging or anything but nevertheless guys they are our top pulls out of this video we got three shinings including a sizzle gx and a jesse and james full art so i do hope you enjoyed the video guys thank you very much for watching like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more. I will be opening up a Battle Styles ETB very shortly as well. And it, when I get to it, which will be shortly, I will be opening up the Detective Pikachu Japan set, which I'm really excited about. But if you are interested in watching that, stick around for my next video. Cheers guys, thank you very much for watching. Peace.